WIC program is here to help you and your children stay healthy and strong by making healthier food choices. From this video, you'll learn how to identify Georgia WIC approved foods, read WIC food vouchers correctly, and use them at the store. So let's take a quick look at how you got to this point. Your clinic may not look exactly like this one, but the process is similar. A WIC staff member has verified your household income, address, and identification. A WIC health professional has made an assessment to identify any nutritional risks. This assessment will be repeated every six months for as long as you participate in the WIC program. So now you've been assigned an individual food package and today you'll receive vouchers in your WIC ID folder for up to three months. If you're a new participant, it's important to become familiar with the information on your ID folder, which is also referred to as an ID card. So let's see what it contains. The front of the folder lists each family member enrolled on WIC. At the bottom is a signature of each person authorized to pick up vouchers at the clinic and use them at the store. As the primary card holder, you're responsible for ensuring that anyone you authorize to use WIC vouchers uses them correctly. On the inside of the folder, you'll see your rights and obligations and information on the importance of picking up your vouchers on time. On the back of the folder, you'll find the date and time for your next appointment, as well as a reminder of what you need to bring with you. Your local agency name, address, and phone number are on the bottom. Be sure to always bring your WIC ID folder with you to the clinic and the grocery store. Before going to the grocery store, it's very important that you understand the information on your WIC vouchers. So let's take a closer look. The dates in the upper right-hand corner show the first and last day you can use your WIC voucher. You can't use the voucher after the last date shown. The foods that you can buy are listed. Be sure to pay close attention to the amounts and package sizes of each item. Only sign the vouchers after the cashier fills in the dollar amount of your purchase. Be sure to treat your WIC vouchers like cash because they can't be replaced if lost or stolen. And now, it's time to check out what foods qualify for the WIC program. Okay, let's take a quick look at what foods are WIC approved. Remember, you can only purchase those items listed on your vouchers. Milk is a good source of calcium, protein, and vitamins A and D. For toddlers between the ages of one and two, only whole milk can be purchased. For anyone over the age of two, you can only purchase low-fat milk, and you can choose from fat-free, skim, 1%, or 2%. Powdered milk in a three-quart box is provided for many WIC participants. Cheese is a good source of protein and calcium. You may buy block, string, and sliced cheeses, but only in 16-ounce packages. Shredded or cubed cheeses aren't allowed. Whole grain foods provide B vitamins and fiber, and WIC allows a variety of whole grain bread, tortillas, and brown rice. Whole grain products must be bought in a 16 ounce package, except for the whole grain sandwich rolls or buns, which can be bought in 14 to 16 ounce packages. There's also a wide selection of hot and cold cereals. You can combine different brands and package sizes of at least 11 ounces to make up the total 36 ounces listed on your voucher. All WIC approved cereals are a good source of iron, low in sugar, and some provide fiber and folic acid. Whole grain cereals are clearly identified on the approved list, and they provide great nutrition. Try them. Eggs and peanut butter provide protein, as do canned or dried peas and beans. Canned beans or peas cannot have added fat, sugar, meat, or oil. WIC approved juices are labeled 100% fruit juice, and they're a great source of vitamin C. They can be bought ready to serve, frozen, or as a non-frozen concentrate. Read your WIC voucher carefully to determine the quantity and size of juice container allowed. WIC offers fresh fruit and vegetables, and you'll receive a voucher for a specific dollar amount. 
You can buy any variety of fresh fruits and vegetables except white potatoes. You may also choose from canned or frozen fruits and vegetables as long as they contain no added sugars, fats, or oils. Buy fresh fruit and vegetables that are in season for better value and freshness. WIC offers dry infant cereals in 8 ounce containers when infants reach 6 months of age. Be sure you don't buy infant cereal in jars or with any added fruit or formula. WIC provides infant fruits and vegetables in 4 ounce and 7 ounce twin pack containers. Guava, mango, papaya, and sweet potato casserole are not allowed and neither are mixed dinners. Check your approved foods list to learn which combination fruits and vegetables are approved. Along with the American Academy of Pediatrics, the WIC program recognizes breastfeeding as the best choice for every baby. Mothers who breastfeed exclusively will receive larger quantities of foods and exclusively breastfed babies will receive infant meats in addition to extra infant fruits and vegetables. Before you go to the store, be sure to have your vouchers, your WIC ID folder, and the WIC approved foods list. Before we use the vouchers to shop, I need to give you a very important reminder. For some food types, you must buy the least expensive brands available. Those foods are milk, cheese, eggs, fish, and some juices. Check your WIC approved foods list for more information. Now, let's take a look at how you use the vouchers to shop. You don't have to buy every item listed on the voucher. But remember that if you don't buy all the items on the voucher, you won't be able to get them later. If you have trouble using your WIC vouchers for any reason, contact your local WIC office. When you check out, start by telling the cashier that you'll be using WIC vouchers. I'm going to use my WIC vouchers today. That's fine. Next, separate the WIC foods from any other items you're buying and separate them by voucher as well. The fruit and vegetable voucher is for a dollar amount rather than specific foods. If your purchase goes over the amount listed on your voucher, you will have to pay the difference. Finally, verify the amount the cashier has written on the voucher you're using and sign it in front of the cashier. So there you are. You should now be able to identify WIC approved foods, understand the WIC ID folder and vouchers, and know how to use your vouchers at the store. Thanks for watching.